Hi, this is my, well this will be my second mesh attempt. My first one uh, wasn't, it was a trial run. So this will be my second attempt. And the character that I'm choosing today is Mr. Mel Gibson himself, specifically as William Wallace. I almost said Mike Wallace for some reason. William Wallace from Braveheart. This is the image I'm going to go by. And as you can see, I have my YouTube channel of Trapped in the Closet up. You weren't supposed to see that, so I'll just X out of that really quick. And I have my bus pretty much ready to go. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to try and do this in five minutes. <laughs> That's when you know that you're professional. When you can pretty much five minutes or less. That's the professional. So if I can get... So I'm pretty sure I can do this in five minutes. So... Uh, without further ado, there's no clock, so I'm just going to guess what five minutes is in my head. So without further ado, let's get started. First thing we notice about Mr. Mike Wallace, William Wallace, damn it, still can't get it. Alright, first thing we know about William Wallace is that he has a very square head, so I'm going to amp up the draw size, pull out his head a little bit, make it a little bit more square. I'm glad that I started off with this bus because I really didn't feel like doing anything extra. So I'm just gonna pull out his head a little bit more. And all right, let's pull out his head some more. All right, that looks legit. Looks pretty legit. Next thing I'm gonna do is his hair because that is like the most in your face aspect of Mr. William Wallace. So go from move tool to clay. All you need, and this is for you professionals out there, all you need in ZBrush is move and clay tubes. That's it. If you use any other tool, that's that's noob status. We don't want that. So let's just let's just continue on. Bam. Damn, I've been doing it wrong. If it wasn't moving clay tubes, you're always doing it wrong. That's all you need. I don't even use clay tubes, but use clay build. Alright, so his hair starting to come together, but I don't like how slow it's taking me, so I'm just going to take the move tool with the clay tubes that I already used. Where is move? There we go. And just start yanking this down. Just yank it down like it's a weave. Yank it down. Just let's go, William Wallace. I ain't got time. Ah, uh, yeah, there we go. So, command outside since I'm in Dynamash so that I can smooth it out more and just keep yanking. I am yanking the living bejesus out of this thing. But it's okay, it's, it's William Wallace. He doesn't mind. He's a warrior. He's Braveheart. Perfect. Alright. So the next aspect, I'm going to get to his facial features. Alright, Mr. Mel Gibson. He has quite a schnoz on him, so we're going to clay. Bam. Amp up that nose. Circle it in. Draw size. There we go. That's a nose right there. All right, next part. Eyes. All we'll do, hold in the Alt key, Option, sink those eyes right in. Sink them. There we go. ZBrush likes to be yelled at sometimes. I feel like I work better when I'm yelling at whatever program I'm using. Perfect. Eyes right there. His hair is still not looking quite right, but once I get to the mouth and finish that off, it's not going to take me long. So, we're on the mouth. Ooh, that was close. Almost lost it for a second, but managed to recover. Let's get that mouth. Smooth in the nose. Get back to the hair. Because we're losing some time. Five minutes is not a lot of time to do stuff, people. I hope you understand that. Time management. That is literally the most important thing. Is time management. Pull William Wallace's hair down. Keep going. I got two minutes left. We're, oh, we're making great time so far. All right, it's getting out of hand. So, bam, command shift. Perfect. It looks like his hair is all wild and untamed, like the man William Wallace himself. You can't tame him. It's Mel Gibson. You can't tame him. No one can tame him. All right. Let's pull up that hair. 
sink in those eyes. Keep going. Back to clay tubes. Bring down the brush. Get those indents in. I need this to be stronger. The intensity has to be like out of this world. Terrible. I need stronger intensity. I don't know how to get more intensity, so I'm just gonna keep digging in. <laughs> it's bound to work. You just keep doing it wrong until it until it turns out right. That's the American way. What is happening right? Why is his nose going in? I I actually wanted to come out. But as you can see, his nose is going into his like face cavity and it's like a skateboard ramp. This is insanity. It's okay. You know what? We can recover. That was a question mark. But keep going. You know what? Just keep going. The important thing is we're trying here. That's the important thing. And now I'm going to draw William Wallace's sword. And you may be wondering where this sword's going to come from. Well, it's the only place it can come from. And I was going to say his shoulders, but as I move, as I keep using the clay tube, for some reason it's actually putting more indentations into him. So it's like digging a crevice into his shoulder and not actually doing anything. So I'm just going to move it. And these can be his swords. Time's up. It's over. But if we take a 360 view of Mr. William Wallace, that was an accident. I think, in my artistic opinion, that we have something fairly close to Mr. Braveheart himself. Yep, I think so. So, thank you for, you know, watching. I appreciate it. And get ready for the next one, because they're going to be coming.